Hey champ, <laughs> I'm sorry about how long it took. I I'm back with the milk. I hope you can, I hope you can forgive me. <laughs> I went back to Michigan to see Charity Bird Briggs and Firebird Caleb, and while I was there, I acquired things as I normally do when I go anywhere. I also, I, I did record some stuff there, but we'll get to that in a bit. First, the stuff that I stole. <laughs> Caleb's current obsession that he's buying way too much of, I feel ya, is Gundam. This is one of the ones that he gave me. This is the one that he gave me. I built it while it's there. It is fun. And it's something that I've already been leaning towards a little bit un unintentionally. This Godzilla that looks like it's glowing even though it's not, but it is glowing in the dark. And then this Godzilla I got while in Japan. Tchotchkes that I've been picking up are things that I can actually do something with or put together. Like this Godzilla, instead of just getting a generic Godzilla toy that can't do anything, I thought it'd be more fun to get one that I could put together and actually enjoy and experience and do something with. More so than just buy, sit on shelf, and then let rot until I die. Since then I've gotten a few things like that that some of I've put together, some I have not. Need to get better about that. And this one is one of them. The, the most recent acquisition. I haven't finished it. I need to put the stickers that go here on there. But I'd like to paint it. And I know I keep saying that about things and not doing it. But I would like to do that eventually at some point. Hmm. He also got Claire one, this little ball dude, because Claire apparently likes fat little robots. Neither one of us, Claire nor I, know anything about Gundam. Not any, not a single, like nothing, really nothing. But building, and I want to keep it that way, building them can be fun. You can actually see Caleb getting a lot of these things if you keep up with his second channel cinematic universe, where he got this and from the Gundam base. It's a store that goes around and sells exclusive Gundam stuff and I guess normal Gundam stuff all around the country. He got that and I'm gonna steal it because it has these stickers. It has a spe second one. I'm gonna steal it from Claire and put it on my robot because I want to. He also gave me this little one. It rolls up into a ball. I made it into a ball, but it's more, it actually looks way better in packaging. I will probably keep it in packaging until I die. And whoever eats my corpse and ends up with all of my possessions, you can do with it whatever you want. There are a few things that I recorded while there. I did vlog while I was there. I haven't made anything of it. I was gonna do one big video. It's not gonna be very good. I'm gonna try to get it done in the next few days. <sighs> it's not very good. But you can see the acquisition of a few things. Like Claire got these little over the garden wall guys. Yeah, we watch stuff sometimes. I've watched it twice. She's watched it once. We're Desperately losers. <laughs> Apparently a new mystery box of these goes for like $18. We do not pay that much for it. You guys are weird with the old over the garden wall stuff. They say you guys, how many of you have actually watched it? It doesn't even matter, whatever, who cares. A video that's currently out on the second channel cinematic universe, Caleb edition, is uh, the uh, we getting us, they, who? Barnes and Noble did another free building event for Harry Potter. Claire and I each got one ourselves. And then we got two more to give to people that weren't able to do it. They had a bunch of extra and they didn't care to pass them out. They also had extra Star Wars ones. This is significantly less cool, but the fact that there are instruction booklets in these, that's really neat. I just expected a foldable piece of paper like how these building events usually have them, but no, real instructions. We were in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and a Lego store just opened up there a week or two before we got there. I actually forgot my passport right here after pulling it out and setting it aside so I wouldn't forget it. I forgot it, so I didn't... <laughs> I didn't get the stamp, so that means I guess I have to go back. But I did get some of the stuff that they, the opening stuff. This is a tote bag. They had a bunch of them. Um, again, Caleb gave me both of these things very generously. I have a Lego tote bag collection now, and I don't know how that started. And they are all rather exclusive. I don't know, I, I don't understand how this came to be, but I'm not complaining. I just don't know, do I frame them? Do I make... Do I put them up? I also got an opening store tile. Lego has been doing these for the actual mall though, which is a bit weird. Not, unless the store's on Woodland and Grand Rapids, and that's a suburb of Grand Rapids. I don't, I don't know the, the ecosystem there. I'm not gonna question it. It's just really neat and I'm glad I have it. I didn't get the Crocker Park one in Ohio when the second store in Cleveland opened up. So if any of you guys have extra ones that you wanna try to hook a guy up with and not charge a hundred or $300 for, let me know. I know there won't be any of you, but let me know, please. Some Walmarts we went to had some super clearance. We got this set for, I don't know, 50% off and this set. Hmm. I don't want to open this. It's the Guardians of the Galaxy ship, the newer one, the one that looks really stupid, but it was like 80 bucks. It was a really good sale and the sets, I think retired or gonna retire soon and whatever, who cares? It's not your money. Why are you questioning my spending habits? Another video that'll be going up on both Caleb's second channel and then in my Michigan trip video that's gonna suck. It's just gonna be so bad. I did not record enough is card opening 
Caleb is taking the same route, or at least dipping his toes into the world of random cards. Just complete garbage, like Free Willy 2 or <laughs> Aladdin. Isn't that great? They, at one of the stores we went to, they had card packs for 50 cents each. And then another store had him a bunch of other random card packs for not 50 cents each, and it was not a good deal, but we got some anyways because we can't help ourselves. If you want to see more specific details on those cards, check out his video whenever it comes out, maybe. I don't know. Check out these packs as well. This is just some of the stuff we got. I'm not going to show you all of it because I didn't keep all the packs. I'm not a complete hoarder. Indiana Jones Chronicles, the TV show. Did you know about that? Prince Valiant, a defunct comic strip or book or who had a Aladdin, you saw that one, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that improper, but I actually don't know how to pronounce it. Waterworld. Waterworld. <laughs> Star Wars Galaxy, that's actually really good. The best jockeys of 1994 in the United States of America. It was 50 cents. What do you want from me not to get it? Gen 13, I didn't know what this was before we opened it. I know even less after opening it. Caleb bought this, but he was so uncomfortable by it that he gave it to me. Don't let him tell you anything else. King Kong, that was actually really boring, but boring. Lilo and Stitch, I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese or Korean. We got him. Free Willy 2. The Flintstones. The Painted Cow. Peanuts, the series, number two. Gummy, that I brought these for us, but whatever. And Santa Claus. Uh, these were way better than I thought they were going to be and way better that they had any right to be. Some other things we also got. Kaijudo. Kaijudo? I don't know. Hunt the Dragon Ball cards. So many, so many Dragon J Jesus. And whatever else. I don't know. His channel will be linked, his second channel at least. And if you want to see it, then check it out. If you don't, I can't recommend it because I haven't watched it yet. But we did laugh a lot. That doesn't account for anything. I laugh pretty easily. That's that's, that's irrelevant. That's not a good a measurement of, or review quality. Let's see, I got a color guide of bricks. It's just Sharpie on bricks. I'm gonna try to get that off. They were gonna throw it away. I can't throw away Lego. I can't let someone else throw away Lego. And a rock from Lake Michigan. It's the only great lake that's shaped like a penis. It has a smiley face. I'm mostly just happy that I finally have something to put in that frame that I got over a year ago and it's been sitting empty and it fits pretty appropriately. The weapons don't, but that's okay. For the people that are still watching that don't care about the what I stole from Michigan at this point, you guys left a ton of awesome comments on the last video that I uploaded a week ago now, which, sorry, this is my B, it's on me. <laughs> I have been making videos for a long time, uh, way too long, <laughs> way too long, and I have not received that level of feedback from a, a, a mass of people that I don't know personally ever. Not not ever have that many people, have that many of you have said something so, so nice and positive. It's a bit disgusting actually. I've been trying to cultivate an audience that is mean and leaves funny, witty, uh, rude comments that I can laugh at and feel bad about, but say that, the, oh, I, that doesn't actually bother me. Why aren't you being mean, huh? I want funny, not nice, kind, polite people that are apparently are willing to watch this garbage no matter, or <laughs> relatively, no matter what it is. But seriously, thank you. The, um, the, the response was, is just insane, a abnormally insane. And there's still people commenting um, on it. And that's real neat. That is a real neat experience. And I'm, I'm very grateful for the people that are watching. I don't love you, but I am very appreciative of it. It is, it is an awesome experience.